<sighs> she's really belly. You're like, I'm at the hotel. Where are Where you? Where are you? <laughs> Me and my friend are waiting. Where are you? Where's, Where's the, the drummer? The drummer? <laughs>Okay, guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to SNG. Yes, sir. Second best podcast on the planet. Yes, sir. Facts. We haven't said that in a while. We haven't said that. We in haven't a while. said that in a while, but it still remains true, guys. Second best podcast on the planet with your boys, J Money and Fire Lord Fwags, and we are so happy to have you here. Yeah, and mom. if you like being here and you've been here for a while, you already know what to do, but I'm going to remind you. Once more, you know the vibes. To pause the episode right now, head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. And from there, guys, you are going to enjoy our company every Thursday as well as every Monday. Mm. You get two days off and then we're back in it again. Mm. Inside your ear holes, pause <laughs> the episode. Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were ready for that. <laughs> you guys working on different levels today. <laughs> Cheese. So guys, for just three pound a month, ten p a day, you got to run the p to, to S, S and G, and then that's how you're gonna become a cult baby. Do mm. you hear me? Mm. What's going on? I don't bro, know. It's just fluid. I don't... Um, <laughs> man's coming up with double entendres and things. White robe and Yeezy is the uniform <laughs> for this cult, guys. And Facts. if you want to get involved, you know what you need to do. Head on over to Patreon. Enjoy all the backlog of content yeah, as well as a new episode every Thursday and get involved with the vibes over there. Guys, if you're watching us on YouTube, please like the video if you like the video. Facts. Chirps a painting in the comments. Pengers. Chirps a pengers in the comments. Pengers. And subscribe and use the notification bell, guys. We really, really, really appreciate it. It means mm. a lot. We're trying to grow this cult to worldwide status and we Facts. need you to do it, okay? Facts. Foot soldiers, that's what mm. you man are doing. Mm. Um, and obviously, guys... You know, wait, wait, this is where this is where the OGs come in, guys. The true podcast fans. We talk about the audio listeners. Mm. We talk about the Spotify dons, yeah, the man. Apple Apple uh, podcast dons. We're talking about the Google podcast dons, Amazon, Amazon, Audible, Audible wherever yeah, you man. get your sweet mellow vibes from, guys. Please, if you are listening right now, just take a second to subscribe to the channel, give us a nice review, and preferably a five star rating. It means everything to us yes, we're not just saying that we know everyone says it oh it means the world to us it actually does it mean actually everything does. to us it does um so please give us a nice star rating it helps spread the word and um keep this cult going guys okay Thanks. um so before we get into who has fun facts if mm. you guys were with us last week um you would have known. Actually, no, two weeks ago now it was yeah. that uh, Fuha went on a, a crazy rant about Manu for about literally half an hour. Yeah. I, I edited it up and it was, I said at the day, was, I think that was about half an hour. It was yeah. exactly half an hour. Okay. That I was passionate. So just quick, I heard on the news the other day, your boys, um, you're not the only one who feels this way. Of I'm course I'm your not. boys are, are rioting. Of course. Shutting bro. down games rioting <laughs> because they just, they can't handle bro, this, they this want the glazers tape. out, bro. <laughs> they want the glazers out, bro. Give us our team back. Bro. Give us us free. <laughs> they, they want them out. And the, the thing is, obviously, this comes out later than obviously what's happening mm-hmm, right now. Mm-hmm. But um, what I read somewhere was like, because the players and like United as a team, as a business, aren't reaping all the rewards. The Glazer have been sucking money from the Oh, swear. Yeah. I think it was said last year they took a couple billion off them. Oh, my Something goodness. Something stupid like that. Yeah, so... The only the only thing that's happening right now that's kind of like getting the Glazers off every well getting everyone off the Glazers back is what I said a few weeks ago about uh, the Cron case Arsenal's owners giving Arteta just fees just giving them yeah. funds yeah 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 get who you need yeah so <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think only just recently now um, they've given they've given United I think three hundred mil to spend in the because the wit the trans well. By the time this comes out, the transfer window would have closed, but it closes in a few weeks. Yeah, okay. Um, and we've bought, we've just bought one player. We've got um, Casemiro, who's a midfielder from Real Madrid, mm-hmm. um, baller. He used to play with Ronaldo and used to play with Varane. So we'll see how that how that pans out. And he plays with Fred in the national team. And we're trying to get um, a guy called Anthony, who used to play, who currently plays for Ajax, who used, whose manager used to be our current manager, yeah. Eric Ten Hagen, blah, blah, blah. So... And that's for roughly between 70 and 100 M. So we'll see. And he still wants at least two more players. Like he wants to gut the whole team. Bet, 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 bet. Which is what needs to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is what needs to happen. Bet. So yeah, I feel like um, he's the Glazers have given 
um, the fans a small window of opportunity. Like, here's a couple more M's, buy whatever you need to buy so we can start winning games and shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. That, that's basically what that <laughs> yeah, money yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up money. Yeah, hush, if, hush money. If you don't win more games now, leave me it's out your of business. business. It's your business. I've yeah. given you my about 500 M's this transfer yeah, window. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you can't win games, look at your manager. Don't <laughs> yeah. look at me. Yeah, you know I mean that's yeah, that's yeah, yeah. that's what that money is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see what I, I go on. bet. We'll see what I go on. Oh fucking hell, man! But um, yeah, um, as like I keep saying, but I'm watching the game tonight. But obviously, because it's so far ahead, um, this, this recording, I just need to hope and pray that we beat Liverpool. Swear, hope and pray that we beat Liverpool. Yeah, so. bet, 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 bet. We'll I see. hope for you, bro. I hope yeah, for you because uh, yeah. this is uh, it's, it's dangerous. sounding drastic. It's, it's dangerous territory, bro. Um, just to like double down as well. Remember I was saying to you um, when we spoke about uh, when I went on the rant rather, um, Arsenal lost their first three games, blah, blah, blah. So they won their first three games this season now. Mm. And they're playing, I hate talking about Arsenal, but they're playing so well. <laughs> and it's yeah. it's annoying. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. so annoying because it's the Arsenal of back a day. Yesteryear. Yeah. Yeah. And the Arsenal of back a day, they were different. Oh, I remember. I was. Um, they were different. Gravy. I was thinking today. Actually, when's the last time? When when was I actually balls deep in football? Football. Mm. Um, I was a kid, mm. and this is. But yeah, I was balls deep in football in the Arsenal heyday. Mm. This is before the. But this is before the Chelsea run. Mm. The big, big Chelsea mm, run mm, when they had mm. their three, four years. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And way before the Man City, yeah, of were, of, yeah, this is when Man yeah. City were dog shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah of course, um, they still had like Shawright Phillips and yeah, them. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But this was, yeah. I'm talking. It was Man U Arsenal team. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and I remember Arsenal. My stepdad was a massive fucking Arsenal fan. Mm. And every weekend we'd watch Arsenal, and I used to think, fuck. Yeah, they play. They play. They, they played football. football. They played like they had like a very. They had a very French flair to their football of course, style. Of course, bro. It was sleek. When you had man like Robert Perez, you had man like obviously Thierry Henry, you had um, Turam, you had you had so many French bro. players in that squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and it's yeah. like, and obviously being Thierry Henry, he's an influencer. Bro. He was, he was or is the, they, one them, of the best players bro, to play in the Premier man League. used to play fancy football. <sighs> fancy, fancy football. And that was when Man U used to play sturdy football. Oh, we just English bored. Football. Yeah, English football. <laughs> sturdy sturdy that, yeah. sausage and egg football. <laughs> <laughs> so it was We're always talking, a battle. Yeah, Ryan Giggs, Paul Skulls, football. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That was football. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fergie Fergie. <laughs> yeah. That's what we used to play. That's sausage what was... and egg football. <laughs> What an analogy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Those, that, those are the days. Yeah. Oh, wasn't That's it I was just, so deep in football. Wasn't it just, bro? Uh, yeah, it's, I it's, it's fell long. off after that. <sighs> it's a good thing you did because you don't have the heartache I have. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's just, it's, it's so annoying to watch week in, week out your peers and other people doing so good. And then mm. it comes to your game, you think, on paper, we should demolish at least 95% of the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and we're yeah, getting yeah. tucked in week in, week out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, um, my, how do I, like, my underdog team of the season is Fulham. Mm, Fulham, sorry. Fulham. Sorry to go on another, like, a football yeah, so team. That's cool. Good, good, good. good. Fulham. Yeah, what is going on, guys? Let's take a very, 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 very quick break to <clears throat> pay some bills yeah, and man. spread the love on our culty sponsor, Manscaped. Okay, guys. So when we're in the log cabin, everyone needs those smooth sacks. Okay. Zip, zip. And the only way we're going to get those smooth sacks is with the new Manscaped product. Guys, yes, you asked for it yes, and they sir. listened. Yes, sir. They've just brought out the ultra smooth package to Europe, guys. Yes, okay. Guys. Everyone knows by now that the Lawmer 4.0 is the best electric shave for your balls. But if you're looking for a closer shave, mm. Or prefer to go completely bare down there. Mm. Ultra smooth package is for the is the perfect set. Facts. It's time to shave that bush of yours and get right to the roots. Mm. Right to the roots mm. by going to manscaped.com. And for 20% off plus free shipping, please use the code SNG. Sierra November Golf. That's SNG. Sierra November Golf. At manscaped.com, 20% off. Plus free shipping, World and then wide. the ultra smooth package can be yours, guys. Thank yeah, you man. very much. Facts. Let's get back to the juicy episode today, yes, sir. gang. Um, right, I've got a, before we move on. Yeah, yeah, hit me. I've got a, a scenario. So it's just a question for you. Mm-hmm. So do you remember when we did that Spotify cafe thing? Yes. 
and then Ash asked us for a million quid will we split up yes a million each or whatever yes. we'll split up and we said nah yes. it'd be foolish whatever made me think what number would you not each mm. what number if someone was to approach you mm-hmm. and be like we love what you're doing just in a secret thing okay we love what we're doing <clears throat> but yeah James needs to go he's dragging you down bro we've done our research he's dragging you down but we're going to need to end this amicably. So what we're going to need you to do, give us a number. We've got your studio set up. Mm-hmm. We've got your guests ready. Give us a number and you're going to have to lock James off. So they will pay me a certain amount to lock you off. And do the Fuhad show. <clears throat> Fuck. Fuck. Um. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I hate these sort of questions. Um, the thing is, I don't even have a ballpark figure because I would, it would still be seven figures, but why I would say, I would say something outlandish. I would say something outlandish, like maybe 10 M's and then obviously haggle, 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 blah, blah. Let's, let's say they drop it down to five. I'll take five, but I wouldn't take the five. I'll give the five to you. No, you're not allowed to give me anything. Why? Because I'm going to make profit off the other thing. So I'll give the five to you. Nah, that's part of the deal. You can't give me just five M's. I have to take the P and just you cut take you the off. P and cut me off. Oh. Fuck. That's a bit tough. I mean, I wouldn't even want the P. That's cute, bro. I appreciate that. But uh, there is a number. Yeah. <laughs> there actually isn't a number. So 100 M's? I mean, but that's... Anyone would say yes to 100 M's for anything. Do you know what I mean? (laughs) Rags. So there's obviously going to be... There's going to be a spectrum. You're saying there's obviously numbers. There's numbers to the point where you're like, I don't even want that. I wouldn't even want it. I wouldn't Mm. even want it. But then we'll get to a number, whether it's 30, 40, 50, Mm. 60 M's. I know for a fact you would do it for 20 M's. Yeah, I already said 10 M's though. Yeah, that hurt my feelings. I'm not going to lie to you. You said 10... And you said you'd settle on five. Yeah, but it's because because I my assumption was to give it to you anyway. So you wouldn't even give me ten. You'd well, let them no, give no, no, me five. I said, no, no, no. I said ten, and they would haggle, so I'll settle yeah. for five. That's why I said run it back and rewind it. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You settle to five to give me five. Yeah, because that's shut up money. It's not shut up money. That's shut up money to James. <laughs> Take your five and be happy with it. Five M's. Yeah, it's big, but that's minor for the rest of my life, <laughs> my career. What am I supposed to do from here? Invest. <laughs> Don't ask me stupid <laughs> questions. <laughs> Fucking invest it. That's five M's we're talking about. Nah, five M's is light. Because I want to live lavish forever. Five M's is not going to do it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, um, I, okay. Oh, then it's, it's still irrelevant because I can't give you the money. So I'll, st- I'll still stick with 10, bro. 10 M's. 10 M's. Ten you got me off. 10 M's. Wow, I mean, that's low still. How is that? That's 10 million pounds, brother. That's low still. How is that low? How is that low? What would you say? How much would you say? Oh, probably like... Uh... Maybe like 30 M's. Maybe like 25, 30 M's. I mean, there's... There is a huge so difference, but it's not to be that a, much difference. Between 10 M's and 30 well, M's? Well, there there, that's what I said. There is a huge difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But ten, you, you can't say you're not going to live lavish for, with 10 M's for the rest of your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I would live lavish with 10 M's for the rest of life, but I'm saying in terms of like the reason I would, I'm picking such a high number yeah. is because in order for me to do it, it would have to be such an outlandish figure that I think if I stay with Fuad and we grind for years, we're never getting mm. this much money. Mm. We're getting 10 M's. Mm. You're going to see 10 mm. M's in this career. Mm. So in my head, I'm thinking if they said 10 M's, I'm thinking, mm, I reckon if we grind for like three, four years, we'll see 10 M's anyway. Okay. And I don't have to stab my friend in the back. <laughs> so I the would say, again yeah, now, I would, yeah. it'd have to be a number where I'm like, oh, we're never getting that. Okay. No matter what. Okay. I, okay, but... It's fine. You said what you said. Shut anyway. Up. Shut up. Um, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> For fuck's sake. All right. I've got a fan request, okay? Right, me. Cool. So, fan request number one. So, I'm going to do two fan requests back to back here. Yeah, yeah. Number one. 
Uh, a young man messaged in and said, guys, I need help. I met a girl on Hinge. All was going well. She came over after a bit and damn, catfish. <gasps> I thought you were going to say damn loud. Like, yeah, yeah, we got yeah, into yeah. it. Catfish. Damn, oh, catfish. Okay, I'm interested now. Okay, hit me, hit me, hit me. So man said, anyway, before I know it, I've gone and told her about a gig that I'm playing with my band. Okay. Now she's now she's booked a hotel near the venue and says she's coming with her mate. I do not want her to come. One, because I don't like her. And two, because I've already invited another girl to come as well. I don't want to call it off with her after meeting her once as we fucked. And I don't want to be that guy. Uh, oh, wait, there's a bit more. Okay. Um... She's also promised that her mate is looking to get laid and wants my drummer. But I showed him a picture and he hated it so much he asked me to take it out of the group chat. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Literally. Wow. The man doesn't even want it in his media. Yeah, whatsoever. he don't want to see it again. Bro, this... <laughs> Imagine me putting the group, bro. There's this girl I'm talking to. She said her brethren is DTF. Are you down? GTF for you. Are you down? I show you a picture and you say, first of all, not only am I not down, please delete that out of this fucking group chat because if I have to open WhatsApp and just see that again, I'm going to be sick. Wow. Bro. Do you know the maddest thing about men? He still piped her. Yeah, fam, Why exactly. did he pipe her? Exactly. Now you're in this position. Of course she's going to want to come. Man and of course said... She's Oh, I feel bad. I don't want to lock her off because I did fuck her. Man said, I was talking to her on Hinge. She came through. Wow. Catfish. Catfish. And still And then I banged her. her. What is wrong with people? Oh, my days. He thought, <laughs> he, he thought, I might as well. She's here anyway. Yeah, she's here anyway. I might as well fuck her. Then you fucked her. Now you're lost in this situation. Oh, he found, he found one attribute. One attribute and <sighs> ran with it. And now he can't even go to her and be like... I'm really, really, really sorry, but please don't come to my gig because I'm just not really feeling it. With I'm not you. attracted to you. And she'll be like, why did you fuck me then? Facts. Why did you fuck me? <laughs> why did you just tell me that when we met? And I said, because I was horny and alone. I was horny <laughs> and, and alone. alone. <laughs> I didn't think anyone else would find out. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't think you would double down and bring a friend. Yes, bro. And now it's even worse because you're, you're bringing a friend expecting her to get piped. And my friend said, yuck. No said, way. Ew. He said, Take her out of our group chat. Yeah, get that picture out of my sight. And now I'm associated with a girl that I don't like that also has a friend that's butters. Yeah. So I now my get... boys think I can't pull girls. That's exactly what's happening right that's now. That's the situation that we're in. And now I'm stuck with you and your brethren who I can't pay someone to fuck. Wow. What do I do? Wow. And I've got another thing coming He's to this He's got gig. another thing coming. So I can't com- have you both in the building. Oh. The thing is, he can't, dependent on, the, he's, a, he's a musician. I'm yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dependent on the size of the venue. It's going to be a small venue. No yeah, offense. No, no. Yeah, it's re- small, but it's regardless, be a small venue. regardless, even in a small standing venue at a concert, like if I'm in the top left and she's at the back right, you're never going to see each other. Mm. You're never going to see each other unless you like go to the bot, whatever, and you're never going to know, oh, this is that person and that's that person. Yeah, of course. So he could, he could, could pattern like both of them to come secure the main one that he wanted to bring and just ignore the other one i mean he could do that i'm not saying you should do that i'm saying he could do that but he needs to he needs to speak to this chick depending on how close this gig is fam she said she booked a hotel near oh, the venue i forgot about that so even if he patterns this new I thing for- She's rebelling. You're like, I'm at the hotel. Where are where you? Where are you? <laughs> Me and my friend are waiting. Where are you? Where's, where's, yeah, the, where's drummer? the drummer? We're trying to fuck. Uh, what's going on? I booked this hotel specifically. You know where it's at. I booked it specifically near the venue. Man said, take her out the group chat. <laughs> that is an insult and a half, James. <laughs> I've never seen or heard anything like it. <laughs> that's the reply. I can never show you a thing that's down and you say, bro, no offense. Get her <laughs> out of this chat. <laughs> Get her out of this chat. <coughs> I wouldn't know what else to say to you. <laughs> if I've said that to you, I wouldn't know what else to say because I'm, I'm thinking, how dare you bring that in the chat? How dare you think I'll be attracted to that? How dare you? 
And it's also going to be one of them ones where it's like, I already know you've got the peng one and yeah, I'm with a yeah, butters thing that wants me. And how dare you even negotiate that with me? Bro, it's and long. Plus, I'm not going to lie, it's long. Not it's even long. being dread. Yeah. I've probably already told you the main is a, is a catfish. So you're mm. probably thinking, so what's so going what's on? Go- <laughs> what's so actually what's happening here? So hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You've got your catfish. <laughs> And you're trying to finesse me with her butter's friend. Oh, this is lock her up this and is keep a me out. Downward of spiral. And we're meant to be boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing this to me. Yeah. I couldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to look at you, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. that's not on. Get out of my face, bro. Oh. That is shocking behavior. You have to tell her. You have to, there's no, you just have to rip the band aid off because as peak as it sounds, you fucked her when you definitely shouldn't have. You oh, should have told her from the jump. Million but just because you fucked someone, Guys all get guys and girls, just because you fucked someone, it doesn't mean you owed them anything. Remember that as well. You unless, don't... Yeah, unless you were lying yeah. to her to get her in bed. Yeah, two different stories. Yeah, two different, two stories. different stories. I don't know how what I don't know what led up to the fact that she came to your yard, but all you've told us was you guys were talking on hinge, she came through, she was a catfish, but you smashed anyway, because you're an arsehole. But just like I said, male or female, just because two consenting people have sex, it doesn't mean they owe you anything. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. need to remember that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. regardless of how it may make her feel and regardless of how rude it might sound, the best and honest thing for you to do is just being man. Tell her, yo, either A, I don't think you should come or B, listen, I know we had sex, blah, 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 blah. All these things happened, but I feel like it's just not for me. Yeah, bro. Like It's just not it's for just me. It's just not for me. And I was lost in the moment and we had a good time. And I think you're nice, but like, I really don't see it going yeah. anywhere. And I'm just offered to pay for her hotel or something. Yeah, same. Like, Meet her in the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah. Meet her in the middle. Like, look, let me pay for the hotel. If you, I'd love for you to still come, mm, mm. but on a friend team. A, yeah, exactly. Because I really don't see this going anywhere. And like, I don't want to give you the wrong false impression and false yeah. like expectations. And now... You're sending me your girl who's trying to get banged, and it's yeah. just—it's it's it's, too it's, much. Yeah, it's, it's I don't want to be a middleman. Yeah, I yeah. I don't want to be an asshole. So look, let me pay for your hotel, regardless if you come or not. Mm. If you do come, great. If you don't come, I understand. Mm-hmm. But I think we should just be boys from here. Yeah. Uh, and she'll be like, "Raw, okay, whatever." You're, she, she's gonna think you're a prick. Of course. But that's the, the game. game. Is the game? That's this literally is, this the game. Is the dice you rolled, and the easiest thing about all of this is you're doing it via hinge, like. Or at WhatsApp or, or yeah, something. WhatsApp like. or you Snapchat don't have to bell at this point. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. message her this and just message her the whole thing. Don't message her in bits and bobs and wait for it. Message her the whole One thing yeah. and just put your phone away. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah, done yeah. what you had to One do. One paragraph. Don't say, babe. And, and then, then when yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, 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 because no, no, if no, she no, comes no. online, yeah, it's long like, for you. Are shaking. It's long because you're not gonna really say what you want to say because <laughs> you're gonna pussy out. She's reading it in real time. Yeah, and you're gonna pussy out. So yeah, yeah. Say it. Send her whole thing in one paragraph and then just keep it moving oh 100 if anything type it in your notes then like, copy and paste, paste it, it into whatsapp and yep. send it and go send it send it and because go because even if you're typing and yeah. you just see that she goes online, online oh, oh hi fuck because she can see you're typing mm. oh palpitations yeah the worst the worst case scenario is once you send it you leave it five minutes and she fucking bells you oh my god that's what my heart would sink that's worst my case heart, scenario my heart would sink as well <laughs> My heart would fucking sink as well. You send it, switch your phone off. 100%. Do not disturb immediately. Immediately. Leave it half an hour at least. See Go what, for a nervous yeah. shit. <laughs> Have a shower. <laughs> come out. Check it. She's There's either going to be missed calls on there or whatever. And just... Oh, God. I, I'm getting actually anxious. I'm actually getting anxious. <laughs> I'm actually getting fucking anxious. What's worse? Heart, left the, do not disturb. Left it half an hour. You come back. You switch off your do not disturb. You got missed calls galore. Oh god. Let's say you got four missed calls and two texts. Or switch off do not disturb. And it's one of them ones where you can see she's last the last scene on her thing. No response, nothing. Just cold. What's worse? The calls. Okay. Um, I would be a bit nervous about the no response, yeah. nothing. But like no response, like next day, no response. Day after that, no response. Your show has come and gone, no response. Oh, that's perfect scenario. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's perfect <laughs> yeah, scenario. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. But if it's been like 10, 15 minutes and yeah. she's, I know she's seen, seen it, it yeah. and there's no response, I would be a little bit nervous. <laughs> but if I come out of the shower to miss calls, <laughs> I'll be terrified. <laughs> I'll be terrified. Yeah. If anything, I'll just be more honest and yeah. message her again yeah. and be like, look, look, <laughs> I was in the shower. To be fair, I wasn't ignoring your calls, but I've just come out of the shower and seen you've been calling me. Mm. Big man, mm. stop. I'm not man enough to have this conversation <laughs> over the phone. 
I'm really not. not. So please take what I said for yeah. gold because I meant that. Yeah. I meant that. Just know that once we speak, it's not going to get better. But yeah. So please just take what I said and take it away. <laughs> take everything away. <laughs> Because I can't deal with this. Oh I've got a gig God. to focus on. Facts. There's money to be made. Facts. I can't handle this. I can't this. handle both. <laughs> yeah, bro. Fuck that's that. That's jokes. That's a... Oh, that's <sighs> terrifying. Catfish. And he wants to bring the friend... Oh, you shouldn't have banged her, bro. Yeah, you shouldn't have banged shouldn't her. Have you're banged a fool, her. bro. Look at the position you're in now. Yeah. Begging for help. <laughs> you fucked it. You absolutely fucked right, it. Right. No I've got one more as well. Yeah. Right. So man said, a little bit about me. Mm-hmm. I'm 18, 5'8", moderately good looking on a good day. I also play basketball and I'm in shape. Okay. So that's a plus and I think it's relevant. But man said I'm having girl problems Mm. times 1,000, but not how all my mates have them. So I may, all right, just context when I read this sent me in a whirlwind of frustration and and but frustration sympathy and the like you'll know as i'm saying okay cool so eye yes. rolling okay right okay. different emotions yeah different emotions okay. right so i may or may not have made a small bag after learning how to trade crypto with leverage okay and this bag is duplicating <clears throat> the more i work and people talk about the money i'm making I also work as a waiter and do laboring uh, and therefore have substantial cash on me at all times. Mm. That's got revenue streams, boy. Uh, yeah. Say less. Okay. However, I feel like the low key success I'm having is making it impossible, impossible for me to have a decent long lasting relationship. Okay. Every time I go on a date, I find the girls always bring up the money and not in a good way more of a please spoil me way and I'm not looking to be an ATM with a tool. Mm-hmm. I also, right, this is the iron. I also drive a BMW 1 Series at 18. Man put in brackets, flex. I know, I know. Which doesn't help my case because I've just got straight hoes chasing me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like the pretty, pretty girls in my area that wouldn't even give me a chance before now force conversation and give me screw face every time they see me. Now all the decent girls think I'm getting busy with the straight 12s in my area because of the attention they give me, but it's really not the case because I'm boring like that and want something serious and lasting. Okay. I regret <clears throat> ending my previous relationship of 10 months because I felt uh, that she actually liked me. What? She, I felt like she actually liked me for me sort of thing. Mm-hmm. I regret ending it. Oh, okay. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I regret ending it because she did actually like me for me. But then again, she became a controlling freak. Since then, I've had the opportunity to run through some puss, but I haven't, uh, but I haven't because I'm looking for the one. Mm-hmm. Should I just do what all my mates do and rack up the numbers or should I wait for the wifey? Please advise me how to deal with my conundrum. <sighs> right. You say your bit and then I'll say my bit. I mean, <clears throat> I don't think it's... Should I do what my mates do and run through the puss or wait? It's one of those ones where it depends on how you feel. Like, you could, regardless of your current... every. Ugh, all right. I think the ultimate goal for most people in life is to find a person that they can feel like they can spend their time with, you know, regardless of whether it be forever or if it be, you can see it happening and you're, you're, you're you're okay. You're fine as it is, blah, blah, blah. Do you know what I mean? There's always going to be that somewhat end goal, I believe. Um, So I don't necessarily think just because you are looking for something long lasting that you should or shouldn't rather enjoy your teens as an 18 year old. It's understandable. Like, In this day and age, regardless of how you look, someone's status is going to be important to someone else. If that makes sense. Like, my status isn't important to me, Mm. but my status might be important to someone else. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, I, as an 18-year-old that drives an A1, did you say A1? No, No, he didn't say an A1. What did you say? He said a BMW 1 One Series. series, Sorry, a BMW 1 Series at 18. You've got, like, three sources of income. And you, you always have cash on you. Like, 
that comes with the territory. You should know. You knew by getting a one series, you were going to get attention. So really, bro? You're talking different to what I thought you were going to say. Really? A one series. That's a shit Yeah, but he's, he's 18, so? brother. I know people that did learning lessons in a one series. Hey, I think it as 18 year old, bro, you need to understand. Well, not you need to understand, but I, I feel know like drug dealers in my head <laughs> that were driving C class Benzes yeah, at 18. That's, 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 he's not a drug dealer, but bro, he's obviously. So? But I feel like as an 18 year old, you're going to get attention regardless of, not necessarily regardless of the car you drive, but I feel like. At his age, that's a decent car for his age. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's not bad. So he's going to not... get pussy attention. Of course he will. Yeah, he's going to be, get a bit of pussy. But I feel and like he's got blo- money. He's got and... blowing it out of a proportion. Yeah, don't, he is. Don't get me wrong. He is blowing it out of proportion. Don't get me wrong. But I also think that he knew what he was doing. He did. He he not necessarily did it to get attention and did it to get girls or whatever. But I also feel like he can't necessarily be mad at the fact that women want him with or without the money, but he's trying to find a lifelong thing. Like it's, it's inevitable. This is life. You're going to have to roll your dice and take it as it is. Like you shouldn't be like, because my, my boys are just having fun and like sleeping around and blah, blah, blah. Should I do that too? Or should I wait? Big man, do what you want, how and as, and when you feel. Yeah. um, That's true. To be fair, Giving it some extra thought. Something you said in there resonated with me and it made me realize, cool. The stuff that you're talking about is inevitable, but there is something, like Fuhr said, there's something that happened in there where like, the only reason people know you got money is because you told them you've got money. Mm. You're not famous. Mm. You told them that you're making money from crypto mm. and you do laboring and you told them like, oh, you said like, oh, I've always got cash on me at all times. Mm-hmm. They're not going through your pockets. Mm-hmm. You're mm-hmm. showing them that yeah. you've got cash on you at all times. Yeah. So like if that's the attention you're getting, it's the, it's, that's because that's the energy you're, you're putting, putting out. out there. Yeah, facts. So you can't really be mad mm-hmm. that you're getting um, like attention from girls that don't necessarily want you for you because that's the way you're moving. Mm-hmm. You're moving mm-hmm. that you don't. Want girls who want you for you. Mm. You're moving like you want girls who want you for money. Mm. Um, so whereas if you didn't tell anyone that you were, you were like, quote unquote, like loaded or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. If, if you were moving like that and no one knew you had money, then you'll probably be with girls who, like your ex, like you said, be, be, that were with you for you. Yeah. But like you're buying a car that regardless if I think a one series is a flex car, you clearly think it's a one, mm. a one series is a flex car, which means... In your mindset, you've obviously bought a car that you know is going to get you attention. Because mm-hmm. you, you're saying yourself, I'm 18, I'm driving a 1 Series. It's a flex. Mm. I know, I know. So you're, you're, you're doing things to flex. You're mm. carrying cash around you at all times. Don't need to. You're driving a car that you deem as a flex. Don't need to. Mm. Like, <clears throat> And you're telling everyone that you're making bags off crypto when you don't need to. Facts. So like, yeah, I would say act the way you want. Like, Put the energy into the universe that would reciprocate the energy you want back. If you want Facts. someone who wants you for you, then maybe you should act like you want someone who wants you for you. Facts. Uh, and if you want yats that just want you to spoil them, then maybe don't act like you want a yat who you want to spoil. Facts. What possible reason do you have to have cash on you at all times? All times at 18. You, I, Bro, I get vexed if there's a tenner in my wallet. I what don't, I do I don't carry cash. Unless I'm paying for haircuts, yeah. I don't carry cash. Facts. I don't Literal have cash on me. Facts. Ever. Facts. So like, yeah, that's that's what I would definitely say. I, probably, I was going to cuss you at first, but now who had <laughs> put it in perspective. So yeah, I would say on an actual thing, bro. When I said, well, I'm not going to lie yeah. to you. When he said, bro, I'm 18, I'm driving on one series. I was thought, chill out, <laughs> chill out. Because no offense, <coughs> it's the worst BMW you can buy. Mm, oh, well, of course, but it's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But if you said, oh, I've got a one series, I really like one series, mm. I'd be like, oh, gang, and you're 18? Mm. Well played, sir. Mm. But if you're like, I've got a flex car mm. and it's a one series, mm. I want immediately my chest goes, chill out. Yeah, yeah. Chill out. <laughs> he wanted to crush him then and Bro, there. Bro, chill the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> but fuck yes, I took a step back. Yeah. Listen, I'm glad for you I spoke first because <laughs> it would have been terrible advice from me because I would have been like, get over yourself. Yeah. No one wants you for your money. You're moving like a waste man. But... <laughs> I've had time to reflect. Yeah, reflect. <laughs> I've had time to reflect on my initial thought process. Yeah. And yeah, I would definitely say change the way you're moving and maybe you'll get the energy as far as whether you should clap cheeks or... 
do what you do want, what you bro. Because it sounds want, like you're saying, oh, I want to go who wants to feet and I want to go for the long one. So if that's what you want, then why are you even asking if you just should, if you should just fuck random girls? Because yeah. if that's not what you want to do, then why would you even do it? Facts. I just, yeah. But obviously, I do understand being a teenager, if that's what, if what the mans are into, it's kind of tough to... It is tough to not be... To not be like in the, the pressure, group. that peer pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Especially course, if they deem you as someone who has access to that. Mm. Um you're going to be tempted to just do it. But if you don't want to do it, then don't do it. And if you do want to do it, do it. And trust me, one thing I will say that actually is advice is that spectrum is going to waver. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there mm -hmm. is no ever one black or white. Yeah. There's no ever one person who's always in it for the long haul and mm -hmm. one person who, who just wants to smash random girls. Mm -hmm. As you go through life, you're going to have peaks and troughs. For sometimes sure. you're going to want the wifey for this and sometimes you're just going to want to bang someone. Facts. So Facts. good luck with that. Yeah, mom. That's going to come with <clears> it. But anyway, yeah, I would say... Stop thinking about yourself as someone who is so successful. You're mm. describing yourself in mm. these ways mm. that not necessarily everyone is describing you. Facts. You're identifying yourself as a successful 18 year old who has more money than others, who can flex more than others. Mm. And it's just like the way you view, view yourself is not conducive to getting the kind of person that you're looking for. Yeah. So just change the way you're acting. Yeah, change bro. your mentality about, yeah, about yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you don't mean to sound like a narcissist, but you are sounding yeah, like yeah, a narcissist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're giving no. off some weird vibes, mm. some weird ego vibes. Yeah. Where it's like, that's why I got defensive. Mm, I know. And I was like, chill the fuck out. Yeah, like, yeah. why are you talking about yourself like mm. this? Like, oh, I may or may not have made a bag and the bag just duplicates. Mm. <laughs> chill out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chill out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that comes with age, though. So you, yeah, you it will, learn. yeah, it will come, it will learn. come, it will come. Learn. Um, anyway, you said you got trash news, no? Uh, yeah, two seconds. Oh, so this is spiraling on from um, what you ranted about a few weeks ago. I know what you're gonna say, and I, you're yep. livid. Go on, you're livid. Go on, you're livid. Go on, it? Gemma. Yeah, you're Gemma, Gemma Owens. On. Go on, PLT. Young signing already six figures. Six figures. Six figure signing. So just to re actually read the caption, Gemma Urban signed six figure deal with clothing brand PLT. Um, the Love Island finalist was reportedly handpicked by founder Umar Kamani and his close team, and will be the first Love Island contestant signed with PLT after multi millionaire Molly May, who is now the creative director. And do you know the peak thing about that? There was a poll on. I've got the poll right here. There was a poll on PLT that PLT. Um, actually did on Twitter tweet us tweet us using the hashtag hashtag PLT deal if you think India would be the perfect P PLT doll she got according by the time this was screenshot she got um, over 2,000 retweets and over 10,000 likes the same thing got posted for Gemma and it got put back to back she got 185 retweets and 453 likes and she got and it she got oh, it oh so we're some racists up in here now is that what you're telling me Fuhad That's what, this we're is, some racists now this is what the story is looking like I'm not gonna lie to you brother oh. I'm not and literally in, after that it's official Gemma Owen we can't wait to work with you blah 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 but India, the, everyone know you know, like people that even watched the show loved India. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I swear. And it's oh, like, okay. so it's a conspiracy it's now. It's like, Gemma, the only thing I would say I liked about Gemma in the show, like, because I don't know, obviously I don't know any of them, mm -hmm. but the only thing I would I say I liked about Gemma in the show is her integrity. She stuck, she always, she, she spoke what she thought, but, with sense mm -hmm. as opposed to just chatting shit yeah, yeah and she yeah. always stuck to her, gr her guns and her ground which is why i i like that she's her. wasn't she the youth of the she's, show? she's 19 so she's, she's 19. yeah she's she is she is very mature in the way she communicates yeah. and how she thinks about certain things but i don't like this was unnecessary like the fact the sheer fact that she's michael owen's daughter is is enough for me and everyone to think like one, you don't need to be on the show. Yeah. Two, the age gap between you and the bread of your whip was, yeah. was, was, was borderline. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and it's like, the, the fans wanted India to be on this PLT thing. Oh. It's clear. It's clear. I'm trying to find- Quantitative data. Quant fam, I'm trying to actually find the non-screenshots because it was someone else that screenshotted it, obviously, not PLT. So I'm going to see if I can actually find the pictures that he put if they've not deleted it. But if they have... They must have deleted it. Surely if they there's have, no way. No, so if they haven't, I'm I'm very, very intrigued. So They must have deleted yeah, it. Yeah, bro. There's no way they can have that level of evidence just on the internet. 
Yeah, they must have did. Because I'm looking at like last week now. And yeah, this, yeah, This dropped when? That's some bullshit. Oh, yeah. Th- those, to be fair, it was a month ago. It was a month ago. So let me see if I can find it. Keep talking. Now. Let me see if I can find the original pictures. So hang pictures. on. You mean to tell me yeah. because they gave, they threw Nella a bone that these men can do what they want? Oh, fuck, 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 Because they fuck, dashed a little yeah. Nella little, a little line. Fuck. That that's our black quota done for the year. Fuck. That's our diversity done. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, how, that's literally our diversity. Oh, done. so there's some racist now. Okay, say less, say less, say less, say less, say less. Because it's fine. That's fine. That's that's insanity, though, bro. Like that's the fine. public that's fine. wanted. That's fine. They public voted. They literally voted, and you chose the opposite. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. You I know what? They, I think they've taken it down. Yeah, of course, they've taken it down. Why would they leave it up there? Yeah. Wait. What month are we in? We're in August, isn't it? Wait. Let me keep going back. Hold on. Hold on. I think they've definitely taken it out. If someone doesn't patent India a deal before we get back from holiday... Yeah, I'm going to be livid. I'm going to cause a I'm, ruckus. I'm, I'm going to be livid. I'm going to cause a <laughs> ruckus. She needs some. Bro? She needs some and something quick. She needs something. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I'm not saying anything disparaging. Maybe a little Invisalign deal. Let's, like, kill Start two birds something. with one stone. Like, let's... Let's... <laughs> let's source satin out. Yeah. It needs to be six figures and it needs to happen in the next week. Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise, I'm going to start running my mouth. <laughs> Where's the deals? Where's where the money? Where are the melanin deals? Yeah, where are they? Where literally where are, are they? Where are they? Where are they? Because this is becoming a running theme. Where are... Oh, yeah. This is gone, bro. It's deleted. It's not anywhere. Fuck it's Michael Owen's daughter. It's not anywhere. She's caked. She's caked. fine. Bro, this is... Wow. This is nuts. This is nuts. I need to find out. Someone needs to tell me that they did the right thing and hollered India and she said no. No, yeah. That's what I need to learn in the mm. next seven days. Yeah. If there's not a deal on the, <laughs> the table. <laughs> if there's not a deal yeah, on the, the table, table, bro. Someone better come yeah. out and be like, yo, calm down. Yeah. We offered her, her. India said no. And she said no. India, we need to know. Did you say no? Yeah, India, we know you watched the show. <laughs> Come out. Did you say no or because not? Because we can't. We can't stand this. for this anymore. Yeah, this we can't just keep this up. This is some bullshit. Where are your deals? Yeah, <laughs> you deserve all the deals. Where are yeah, they? Yeah, we want you on the deals, bro. And <sighs> this is not patterning for us. It's, it's not okay. It's not sitting well with <laughs> us. <laughs> it's not okay. So what the fuck is going on? What is actually going on? What's actually going on? Because this behind from yeah from where I'm sitting. Yeah. You man are moving. <laughs> hey, sis. Yeah. And I don't like it. Yeah, yeah, it's nuts. It's nuts, bro. As soon as I read that, I was like, raw. Because I saw the tweet first, the comparison tweet. Bro, With the what? likes and retweets. And then I saw the um, the Instagram post. And who's her management, please? Who's India's management? Because what's going what is, on? What is going on? Yeah. What is going on? She had it patterned from the first week in the show. Mm. Wait, did she come? Did she come second? I think yeah. I think they came second. Yeah, this Gemma, is some Gemma bullshit. Second, yeah. Gemma Owen, yeah, yeah, six figure PLT team. Six. She doesn't. She's nineteen. Well, it does. The age is irrelevant. Age is irrelevant. Age is irrelevant but irrelevant. still, bro, like, like I think Money May was like twenty one. To whatever. be fair, yeah. take away the age, take away who her dad is. Mm. Let's just treat it like any other civilian. Yeah. Let's just stick to the facts. Whether mm. she needs it, because it's not, it's, we're not talking charity now. Yeah. We're talking about money. business deals. Yeah, 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 yeah. For, the fuck the, oh, she doesn't need the money. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all that chat, because mm. we're talking business. Mm-hmm. If the man them say we want India to be the thing, mm. and then, because the numbers that you just said were a joke. Yeah, the difference was The difference was rid- staggering. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I need to find out she turned it down. I need to find out she turned it down. Ridiculous, bro. All right, say less. She turned it down. And that's the narrative I'm going to... Until someone proves me yeah, wrong... that's the narrative we're going to That's the about. narrative that's only going to allow me to sleep at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Because things aren't adding up. Yeah, things aren't... Re- they really aren't adding They're up. They're not adding up. They had the audacity to put them back to back and then they reposted and said, oh, congratulations, welcome to our new... Welcome our new PLT, blah, blah, blah. The Twitter Jebo. must have been flabbergasted. Oh, yeah, rags. Rags. I already know it. Black Twitter would have kicked up a yeah ruckus. someone run her a deal before this gets out of hand yeah before we get back from madeira yeah, 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 yeah. we need to see deals on instagram yeah. and twitter we want to see twitter, deals yeah. on the table we need to we need to see we deals on to. the table because otherwise shit's gonna get nasty it will 
It will. <laughs> yeah. It actually will because I don't understand this yeah. love hate relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't get it. Because in the show, you love us. In the show, you loved India. Yeah, you yeah, loved yeah, her. Yeah, 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 Everyone yeah, yeah, in the yeah. nation did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come out now trying to secure a couple bags. Not em. Yeah, no one wants to pipe up. Not em. So, seven days. We'll see you then. Yeah, we'll I'm you not seven. making threats. <laughs> I'm just saying. We're just saying. It's best for everyone if I find out the truth in the next seven days. That's all we're saying. Right. IG questions. That's it. And we're going we're gonna to wrap it up with that. Um, so... This week, guys, we asked you, what's the one thing that kept you from bake- uh, baking, from breaking up with someone? And as per juicy ass responses, guys. Let's go. I'm going to bang, 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 bang through him. <laughs> All right, go. Ahead. He had that devil dick that was hard to say no to. Oh, God. <sighs> the sheer fact he owed me 3K and my mum 1K. <laughs> she stayed with him because it- <laughs> he owed bags. <laughs> she stayed with him because he owes me money. Money. Raw. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money to owe your partner. And your mum 1K. That's a lot of money. Uh, Nest you, man. Absolutely. You're never getting that back. Never. Why would I give it to you back? The mum is hounding the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell your little boyfriend. Tell your your little scumbag (laughs) boyfriend to run my money. Four bags in debt. Or you're paying for that. That's a joke. (sighs) He's multiple fake suicide attempts. Bro, I bet that is a running theme. Oh, there was bag of suicide ones. In of the course bag- it was. God. I couldn't believe it. That's a joke. I couldn't That's believe a joke. it. <laughs> Old rich parents with health issues. <laughs> Man was waiting. Wow. Waiting. <laughs> I was going out with a guy who was really abusive, but I loved his dog. Tapped. Fam, I thought dog was a euphemism. Tapped, bro. Act, the actual pet. Tapped. For fuck's sake. Go on. <laughs> she liked doing house chores. Lazy, you lazy fart. Wow. That psycho pussy hit different. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh, doesn't it? It doesn't just. it just. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh. My birthday was a month longer, so I hung out for that. Fuck that. Oh, that's dead. Her mum was giving me pussy on the side along with a hot meal. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I'd that stay too. Juicy. Yeah, that's... Oh. Mum was giving me pussy on the side. On the side. And the, it's the and the hot meal that took the fucking piss. We took the fucking piss. We and plus, if you're ready to break up with her, then mm. you already know you got nothing to lose. Yeah. If this comes to light, yeah. you don't care. You don't care. That's their mum and daughter business. Yeah, you're leaving. <sighs> and the hot meal. He got me pregnant, and I felt like I owed it to him since I didn't keep it. Jesus Christ. His potential. Still lazy as fuck after all these years. Thank God I left him. <laughs> His potential. Shame on her. Hey, facts. Shame on her. Don't ever judge me on my potential. <laughs> Take me for me. Take me for who I am. Yeah, my potential. <laughs> fuck you. Don't ever judge me on my potential. <laughs> oh, that's jokes. Oh, gosh. Three winters in a row, I was promised a Canada goose. I left at the fourth with no goose. <laughs> Bro, I, you know who it was as well. I stayed with someone for over a year longer mm. because I was promised a birthday threesome. Oh my It never God. fucking even came Every, close. Oh, Every it's... year I was promised this birthday three way and it never happened. Women love to gas men at the beginning of situationships. And never pull through. Oh, and it's, it's, you have no intention. You have of no pulling intention. Through. They say it because they know it's going to keep us yeah, like yeah, in, yeah, the, yeah, in yeah, these yeah, four yeah, walls yeah, yeah. to She's, keep this, us gas. This girl's unreal. This girl is like, there's no other girl that's talking like this. Yeah. So of course I'm going to stay with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And whichever female you bring into this party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? A year <laughs> later, what I bring up threesome. Girl, what the fuck are you talking yeah, about? Threesome. Bro, I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think I'm going to love an, another pussy in this house? I love you. Bro. She finessed, she finessed me. you, bro. I was livid. Once I realized it was two years in before I realized I'm not ever having this reason. I'm not ever going to have it. 
And then she gaslit me because when I brought it up, yeah. she was like, are you just with me for this threesome? And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just yeah, asking for what I promised. What, what, you brought it up. So I'm saying, where is it? Are you just with me for a threesome? Oh, I she would have put you on the ropes then. I was vexed. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. That's hilarious. All right, back to it. What's the one thing that kept you from breaking up with someone? He'd always, he'd always trap me in the house whenever I tried to leave. Bro, what? <laughs> she had the best toes in the area. Oh, was... <laughs> <laughs> that what does that no, even no. mean, James? <laughs> in the area, <laughs> yo, fam, yo. You need to be on some yeah, watch team. Calm down, man. That's that's wow. Jesus. <laughs> Threats of suicide. The liar is still alive. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Her tip wanks were insane. Oh, gosh. I would stay too. Yeah, I would. I would stay too. A luby tip wank? wank? Oh, yeah. With a little... Plural? With a, with a helmet. Yeah. The, the, a... the helmet glug? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, keep me. <laughs> she threatens every day that she'll tell someone that she fucked me in the ass. That's verbal assault. If you assault. leave me, I'm telling everyone you I fucked you in the arse. If you dare leave, I'm telling ev- I'm telling your boys I stuffed you. <sighs> wow. I was sleeping with his twin on the side. Got to see both of them when I stayed over. That's a dirty dynamic. Bro, random spoiler, because you're not going to watch it anyway. There is a scene in Sandman. I am. I said. I literally said to you, I'm gonna watch oh, it. I thought you said you weren't gonna watch it. No mind. <laughs> Carry on. Is it a huge spoiler? It's like a. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> not to the not to the story. Yeah. But to that episode, yeah. you're like, oh shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't tell me. <laughs> I know. I tell you. That's just... It has nothing to do with the story, yeah. but just in this weird little dynamic conversation, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one guy says something outlandish to a chick. <laughs> Outlandish. Say less. And you're like, fucking hell, bro. Say less, say less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'd find another woman with tits like hers. Oh, God. That sounds like one of my boys. He'll do anything (laughs) for a healthy... Yeah, 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 for Yeah, for a healthy pair, he'll do anything. Anything. (laughs) That's hilarious. He stabbed his arm with a chisel twice. Fam, what is wrong with people? Oh, my God. Matters of the heart, they they can't handle it's it. It's literally do or die. They can't handle it. She's by it, and we have FFM threesomes all the time. Exactly what I just said. <laughs> exactly what I've just said. You, the way you bit your lip. Fam, that's exactly what would have kept me there for another two years. If she actually played ball with me. All of the time. All the time. They have FFMs all the time. Aye, aye, <laughs> aye. Bro. To be fair, though, actually, I, saying that, I don't know if I'd be that interested with my girl every time. Yeah. See, it's, it's obviously very different. Yeah. Very different. But still. Mm, it's still it's, it's still banging. Yeah. We had already paid for our wedding. And you didn't want to be there. So you got married. You got, so you doubled down and got married? Oh, God. <sighs> I'd already booked a trip to Dublin and I didn't want to go by myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, the amount of people that I know that have gone on holidays with their ex oh my God. because they'd already booked the fucking yeah. thing mm. is mad to me, <laughs> especially when it ends horribly. <sighs> yeah. Like I know a girl who found out her man was cheating. So they broke up and they still went on holiday. And it was already prepaid for and everything. Yeah, it was already said, prepaid. Nah. Just because they'd paid for it. Nah, man. And it's like, yeah, but now you're just paying for torture. Nah, what what would you what would how was their holiday? Did you did you ask? You I remember? Don't, I didn't care. That's as soon as she said she was going, I was I, I literally was oh, just the, like, your friend was the girl, not the guy. My friend was the girl. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as she told me that like, oh, we yeah, were still going on holiday and stuff, I was like, like I don't even want to talk to you. Yeah. Because you're just a, a fucking yeah, idiot. Yeah, I can't entertain the this money's conversation. Being gone from your account. So just leave just it. Just leave it, yeah. You're Going to spend more money. Yeah, you're going to spend you're more money out there. With someone you hate. Yeah, <laughs> this is dumb. Uh, anyway. And you're probably going to bang him anyway. 
they of course they're gonna bang. Of course they're gonna yeah. bang. That hate fuck. Yeah, oh, they're gonna have one hate fuck God. that's gonna send both of them loopy. Oh, God. they're gonna nut and hold hands. Yeah, rags, rags, <laughs> rags, rags, and she's gonna smack him on his yeah, chest like, after. Like, how fucking dare you? You did this. Yeah, you did then this. She's gonna break the fuck down crying. <sighs> yep, it's not gonna be exactly worth it. Going. She's gonna nut. He's gonna nut. She's gonna. Play a little game. Yeah. Like, I fucking hate you. Like, I actually hate you. And then she's going to break down crying. Because she's going to realize, like, I actually hate you. Yeah. Like, you broke my fucking heart. How could you? And now she's hitting you for real, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this whole holiday is it's just, just hell on earth. It's just hell, bro. It's hell on earth. And you're going to recycle that every night yeah. <laughs> for the whole week. Ah, <sighs> stupid. Anyway. The secret, oh, wow, the secret house I'd bought behind his back wasn't ready to move into yet. Fam. Oh, she threatened to take my dogs away. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Are they your dogs or not? She threatened to take my dogs. <laughs> yeah. The water pressure at his apartment was better than that, mine. That would make me stay with someone. I knew that it. would make me stay with someone, bro. I knew you'd say Fucking that. now. Good water the, pressure. I'm the shower in the Dakota Hotel in uh, Manny. That I say that the other yeah, week. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the button thing. Yeah, Did yeah, you, yeah. You used it. <laughs> Man. I, I showered. So yeah, yes, I, know, I bro, used I'm it. saying. Because you're looking at me like you weren't ready. I won't ever forget it. I'm going to remodel my house after that shower. Oh, it was a nice shower, in it? Press a button. But full full pressure. Yeah. Perfect heat. What? It was fantastic. What? It's one of the best showers I've ever had. It was banging. It was much better than the um, hotel we stayed at in um, in Edinburgh. The water pressure was... That was shit. It was so thin. Those showers were shit. Yeah, it was so the thin. The whole ensemble of the room was banging. banging. The lighting was unbelievable. Banging. Did you ever sleep with the night light? Of course. The red light. I did red, red, red. I did oh, red in my room, the bathroom, and the toilet. Oh, my God. <laughs> I felt like I was doing the challenge. Yeah, fam. <laughs> banging. The, the silhouette challenge. <laughs> I felt like doing... Bro, the whole yeah, the was luminous. I was yeah, like, "Raw, this is bro. sensual. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is sensual." <laughs> I felt like I was doing the challenge. That's <laughs> bro, how they pattern that lighting was banging. I remember seeing it, and I was like, "What's night mode?" <laughs> pressed it. <laughs> What's night? Mode? Uh, I pressed it. The whole thing went. Da 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 da. Bam bam bam. I was like, "Whoa!" Right. <laughs> And I just kipped with it on Bro, all night. Bro, sensual. Yeah, it was sick. Oh, okay. I got three more. All right, cool. Fuck, that's sweet of me. I couldn't be asked unloading all my weird kinks and fetishes with someone else again. Oh, that's a woman that said that, isn't it? That was a guy. Oh, really? That was a guy. Hey, yeah. yeah. That was a guy. <laughs> she was the popular girl in school. <laughs> oh, fuck it. <laughs> that man. reminded me of... <laughs> that reminded me of you when you said about that banging chick in secondary school. That, that Brer broke up with her. And then you were like, "Oh, in year eight, in whatever, yeah, 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 fam." Yeah. And then she said, "Twins, <laughs> twins, fuck, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> livid, bro, livid." That story when you told it that day, I was dying, bro. Bro, fucking piss me oh, off, man. Twinsies, twinsies, I twins. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. Broke my heart. I couldn't believe it. Like last one, I thought I wouldn't be able to live without him. The thought of it gave me chest pains and anxiety. That's codependency. Oh, that's tough. It could be codependency. It also could be massive manipulation. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He could have convinced you that you're useless You're useless him. without me and yeah. you will die single yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you don't yeah, stay yeah. with me. Why would you possibly think anyone else would want you but me? Fuck! How could you ever think anyone would ever want you except for me? Uh, what goes through people's minds to say that to yeah, another bro, human being? shit like that all the time. That's in. I The thing is... I obviously will never know what it's like to be a woman, but I would like to think if I was a woman, I would still have the mentality of Fuhad. I would love to think that. So I'm trying to put my shoes, I'm trying to put myself in her shoes after reading now, after what we just said. Mm -hmm. And I can't fathom keeping quiet. If a man said to me, do you think you will ever find love if you left me right now? I would want to fight him. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Bro. I would want to fucking strangle the life out of yeah, him. Yeah, bro. Like, who are you? Yeah. Who, do you? who do you think you are? Yeah, rags. Rags. Oh, it's, it's madness. Yeah, some people... Madness. Go through it, boy. 
But yeah, that was um that was the question of the week, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And that was that's that's the end of the episode, actually. Yeah, man, as well. that's it, guys. So yeah. thank you very much. Um obviously head on over to Patreon and yes, we'll sir. catch you on Thursday. Yes, but in the meantime, guys, love, love, love. Gang, gang, gang. Gang.